seasons he wasn't on at all. He's looking real strong in this first season of Ultimate, though. That's right, especially with the set on ZD, and now with his attempt against Esam, who is playing Yoshi yeah. for game one. I mean, like I was saying earlier, you know, Esam was playing it, uh, with Void a lot today. Uh, so one, he's primed for the Pichu matchup, so I'm not surprised we see Sweet Tea on the Yoshi, but also uh, on the Pokemon train rather, but also he was playing a lot of Yoshi, saying he wants to keep it as a secondary. He had it for a while in Smash 4 as well. Uh, so Why so Moth Yoshi? I, I don't know. That's tennis ball <laughs> Yoshi, though. Uh, you can call it whatever you <laughs> want. I, I definitely uh, <laughs> not sure why we got just that one in here, though. Okay, well, Esam showing that he's still a fan of the dunks, no matter what character he's playing. Already landing two against Sweet Tea. Yeah, him at 100 plus percent. He is at a high percent, but he hasn't been able to, you know, take this stock yet. And I like the drop down recover with, uh, with Ivysaur. That looks like a Fox up smash yeah. to me. Yeah, we still have Flash uh, Shield. Come on. I mean, all those up smashes are <laughs> are flashy and strong. All right, landing fair. Actually going to be beat out by Squirtle on there. He's just getting pushed back. I mean, that and is... he kept his jump that whole time. He didn't have to use it. At no point was he ever threatened to lose his stock. But wow, what an early kill just dropping down and giving him the happy feet. Yeah, and the drop down down here, he falls out of it and dies, buffers an air dodge, but answers right back with that fly from Charizard, gets the first stock, and now we have a Squirtle combo. That's right, I mean, it did take a, quite a bit for, for Squirtle to drop a stock, but what is going on? Sweet Tea putting on the damage. Yeah, and Sweet Tea has some really good combos. He's very good at getting just one hit and making up a lot of damage for it. So here we go, Ivysaur, and we saw what happened last time he was picking Ivysaur. He lost his stock fairly quickly. Ooh, trying to get the forward air. All right, Esam not going to go out there and challenge him, but that's a really bad spot to be in. Esam holding shield at the ledge, not going to get hit with the Vine Whip. Yeah, that's very smart stuff from, from Esam, as most players will uh, back off fear from the Vine Whip. Uh, he just kind of took it on his shield and then tried to get a punish. All right, the Nair going to eat through the flamethrower right there. Sweet Tea look, needs to try and find a way to get the stock without the platform above him. He's not going to be able to get the forward throw, or the up throw, rather. Good flamethrower. Did put Esam in a worse position and set up for a back air. All right, and he lets out the taunt. This is not over yet. Back air going to force him across stage. He's going to be staying in Charizard because he doesn't want to die. He is at 151%. Back throw into the back air quick, 27. I mean, the raw back air is so strong. He's got to be. He's got to avoid these these Yoshi eggs now. Oh, now out of shield. Not gonna do the it. Tins quite in yet. his face. The yo, yo egg toss beat flare blitz. <laughs> of course it did, man. Why not? It's crazy. Why not? Why? <laughs> flare blitz is supposed to be ridiculous. Have you, have yo, you seen can Yoshi's we, egg can we though? campaign to to buff flare blitz? I want to campaign to fluff buff flare blitz. Yeah, make it good so I don't feel as bad when it hits me, man. Make it a good <laughs> option at least. <laughs> Like, if I get hit with it once a set, don't make me sad at least. <laughs> okay, well, Esam able to take game one with his Masa Yoshi. And, or what is it, tennis Yoshi? Tennis ball. He looks like he's covered in a tennis ball. He's, he's definitely covered in something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so running back in the game two, Esam sticking with Yoshi, Pokemon trainer, still in uh, is, is the yeah. choice from Sweet Tea. I feel like if we want to see Esam's Pikachu here in Grand Sweet Tea has to earn it. He has to force uh, Esam off of it because if not, I feel like he's just going to take this opportunity to get some practice on his new secondary. I mean, and why not? He's definitely up an entire set. He has these uh, these games to lose and still be in the tournament. Right. So he, does, he definitely can take the risk. 76% right, onto Esam and counting only 16 from Sweet Tea. He's done a great job of opening up this game incredibly strong. That's right. He's looking much better than game one for Sweet Tea in terms of his understanding of uh, Esam's Yoshi. He is kind of still getting knocked around a little bit. I mean, this Nair's out of, out of, uh, out of shield uh, do come out extremely fast and can be difficult to deal with. Oh, the call out with the Yoshi bomb. All right, now it is basically back to an even game. There's the grab back throw, not going to do it from across stage. 
Sweet T looking to find the grab under the platform. Not gonna find it. And the pressure on the shoot actually gets pushed back so he doesn't find the up smash. Not only didn't he didn't find the up smash, but I believe uh, Isan also spot dodge. But we are gonna see a up throw. And yeah, you gone. Bye bye. Okay, down throw. Probably one of the most vicious throws that we see in the game. Yeah, it's <laughs> that thing's violent. This is a chat. This is like supposed to be a game for all ages, right? Like, you yep, can't be having that much violence. He did get. He did lose his uh, all his jumps, and then uh, got sour spot nared. Uh, was at 150 percent, so I guess it wasn't too great of a loss. But at the same time, at the same time, he he could probably could have done a little bit more. I right, up smash trading with that down air. Just wow. another one. He's yep. just throwing them out, and they're working. I mean, why not? You got big hitboxes. Go ahead. Go for it. Rock it. Another back air. I great dash attack here from Isim. He's just keeping Sweet T above him, keeping the pressure on. Jab into the uh, down B. That isn't really a thing in this game anymore. And Isam looking so cheeky right there. He was banking, or he wanted to put uh, Sweet T in that mix of like, hey, just like a knowledge check, like, did you know that this could go through the stage? Okay, you spot dodge. You did know. All right, you see I'm looking for the back air. Gonna get back thrown for his troubles. Yeah, but a back air gonna connect, and he's looking to just even up the stocks real quick. The Nair trade yeah. will do it. Yeah, ECM doing a great job of just putting himself in a spot where there was nowhere for Sweet Tea to go. You know, no matter what option he did, he had an answer. I mean, he could have flare blitz. I wanted a flare <laughs> you blitz. You just want to see a flare <laughs> blitz. I just, you're right. I do just want to see flare blitz. Please, flare blitz. Sweet tea, make my dreams come true in flare blitz. Of, co of course, the Roy <laughs> player just wants to see some fire. <laughs> More <laughs> fire. Fire. <laughs> I like the fire. Okay, back here, and that's going to interrupt Esam's approach. Still putting him at a very high percent. Esam approaching that kill percent. Ooh, big down air, but unfortunately not able to follow up and convert. I feel like we're seeing a lot of these uh, down airs through the platform for Sweet T just tonight. That nail trade, there's your Flare Blitz, and it hits him! It hits him! Flare Blitz! <laughs> flare Blitz! <laughs> <laughs> you got what you Let's wanted. Let's go! <laughs> Look at Sweet T's face. He's struggling. He knows he stole that. <laughs> Was that for me? Yo, Flare Blitz! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, can you tell me how this next game is going to end? Because clearly you know. Oh, <laughs> uh, definitely not with the Flare Blitz. <laughs> flare Blitz is a one-time thing. One-time thing. Everybody gets one. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe that. And, like, the worst part about it was I couldn't tell at first, like, because of the freeze frame, did Yoshi's Fair beat it or not? Because we saw some other things beating it out. That's yeah, true. I mean, Yoshi Fair, not one of them, apparently. <laughs> well, he wasn't in motion at that point. I believe that Flare Blitz does have armor until it connects ah. or fizzles out. So uh, he was in a pretty safe position. The the forward air from Esam would have had to have connect after he bounced off the ledge. Please tell me he's not in range. Okay. Like, that would have been the funniest thing if he just stood there and still got hit because he, he was hit by it. <laughs> Like, it's like longer than you thought. You just stand there feeling dumb. Like. <laughs> okay, well, Esam. Trying to get the cross up on the ledge. These nares, just these landing nares and nares out of shield just seem to be getting uh, a lot of damage for Isan. Ooh, what a great nair. He looks for the uh, the vine whip conversion and actually flies past the ledge. Up smash covers that whole platform. It's great on this stage especially. Home field advantage for the Pokemon trainer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, up, uh, forward air into up tilt. Sweet tea, and I mean, he's hanging on to his stock. Right now, it's just all extra credit. Just get as much damage as you can possibly can to extend that lead. Down smash, or down air connects, but, you know, Not armor's, even armor's good. I really thought we were going to see another Flare Blitz, but he is able to get the Drift and the Fly. Double parry for Esam. That's right, looking real strong and aware that that up smash was coming. He scouted that out. Yeah, and going to be able to find that stock Sweet Tea with a bit of a percent lead, but, you know, nothing too, too crazy. 80% actually. Mm -hmm. You see those double withdrawals? Yeah, that was... Like, he's been making great use of his side B overall, but no matter what Pokemon he's on. Okay, parry, but... No, that was, that was smart. If you're uh, 
not confident you can actually parry all the hits of down air. Especially hold, like any multi hits, you just hold shield. I down air goes for the up air combo afterwards. That's gonna be a huge lead for uh, for Sweet T right now. Mm, if you go only thirty percent on him, he's gonna give him a lot an opportunity to extend it that much further. Alright, Esam finds the egg, doesn't find a confirm out of it, and now here comes the damage. Down tilt gonna connect and just kinda give Esam that much more space. Alright, there's the near, looks for the photo, great swap there from Sweet T. He, he goes for a flare blitz again, Esam ready. Yeah, Esam's ready, he definitely created the necessary amount of space so that flare blitz would fizzle out and then got the the yeah, F smash punish, but ooh, down air tried to get the spike. Solid spot though. Yeah, unfortunate for Sweet T. With a flare blitz across stage, John. All right, you made too big of a deal. <laughs> Why? Now he's now he just wants the hype. I mean, flare blitz is hype. <laughs> That's gonna send him up. The last Not hit connected. Not gonna kill off the top. But a double, triple. Is he gonna die at eggs? I kind of want to see the egg kill off the side. Oh well. Back though, gonna get him off stage. Sweet team looking at Gale, kill off on the side right now. Nero eating through that fl flamethrower puts him off stage. There's the dash attack that move did get buffed. All right, that was that was a flare blitz if oh. I had ever seen one. <laughs> I mean, he was at 200. What? He lost the stock for going out there either way. Why did he have to lose? Nothing because he gets that forward smash. JV2 stock. All right. Well, going up 2-1 here in grand finals. It's set one of grand finals. Jacob looks so looking proud of himself. Yeah, looking poised to, you know, reset the bracket. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're going to see the Yoshi stick through at least this first set. It really wouldn't surprise me too much to just get as much practice on it as he can. But there's... Mm, never mind. Ignore yeah. what I say. I mean, Esam is a man who wants to practice, but at the same time, he wants to win. And why, he, why give up a full set, you know? Good point. You know what? He doesn't want to have, you know, Jacob or uh, Sweet Tea... Getting a completely free win. You know, he's going to make him work for it. He may have worked for it with the Yoshi, of course, but not quite at the same level. That's right. So now it's time for the Pikachu to come out. And he's showing why it's at such a higher level than his Yoshi. Quick 54% combo. I mean, Isam got second place at Nimbus. He's not trying to get second place at MSM 175. Yeah. Ooh, That's a tech. very good point. Wall jump into the up just alleviating some pressure. Nair down tilt. Gets another one. Goes for the drab lock. Realizes that the tech is there and... Chases him down he with gets, the grab. Even gets the drag down back air. That's such a smart stuff. The aggression really coming out from Esam. Yeah, and Esam looking super strong on this Pikachu right now. I mean, he is smothering Jacob right now. He's not giving him any room to breathe. But Jacob a finally able to land back on stage. Oh, and the back air almost good kill. Not finding the sweet spot with the tail or the end of the tail. Okay, the short hop Nair is such a such a good tool for Esam, especially against his big body. Tijo gonna just keep him in stun long enough for him to get the up smash. Mm. You see back air into double, triple up air. Big damage for Esam once again. He goes out to try and get the edge guard and it gets reversed with the Ivy Sword down air. I mean, that is the gamble when you go off stage like that. He was uh, fairly low and just Sweet Tea with no hesitation dropped down and got the down air. Yeah, and he's actually in the lead once again because of that. Okay, using those agility attacks. He's trying to stay in Sweet T's face. I tries to go deep for the forward air, but great recovery from Sweet T just bit narrowly getting above Esam back to the ledge. And Sweet T has to be careful because remember he does take like a curve uh, before he Ivysaur uh, goes directly back up to the ledge. Yeah. Esam's looking for that curve. I right, gets the down air. Switch from Sweet T, just making it so if Esam tried to combo it into like a Thunder, he was going to be uh, invincible for it. But getting the grab from the neutral getup, Thunder not going to connect, and now getting punished with the forward air. Instant dash attack right there. Great punish from Esam, going to get the kill off the top. And immediately going to Ivysaur and landing the up air. What a revenge kill. Yeah, and Sweet T on last stock, you have set one against Esam. That's right. If he can take this stock against Esam, he's going to reset Grand Finals. We're going to have another minimum three games to go through. That's that's going to be a lot of fun. All right, great swap to game out of the lightning loop there. Oh, getting the trade. It's With these two fast characters, you know it's just like...
trying to get that one opening that they're going to be able to convert into big damage. Oh, is it going to be the Whirlpool, or is it going to be, you know, the Lightning Loops? Right, great damage, keeping it even. But as I say, that up air into forward smash with the platform's assistance runs off and gets that down air. That's right, and that's what we were talking about earlier. Ivysaur has to take that angle and then go to, uh, vertically straight up back to the ledge. Esam, very aware, scouted it out, punished with the down air. Yeah, and you know, that's really what he's known for is just getting these early kills with his Pikachu. Mm -hmm. so that's right. It's aggressive play, getting early kills. SD. <laughs> Why you gotta do him like that, man? Well, he just wants to. That's win. his career, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's too soon, man. <laughs> okay, well, going back, to, and here we are, uh, game five. Esam trying to end this, uh, end the tournament for the night, and good start. All right, up here into the photo, big combo for Sweet Tea. Gonna use the water gun to just push him away. Tries for a down smash, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen that move from Squirtle. From Squirtle, it, it is pretty good at the ledge. I'll believe you. All right, great near there from Sweet Tea. Right, gets the trade, but a good withdrawal from Sweet Tea. Make sure that he was in a position where he would not be uh, vulnerable to uh, Esam's aggression. Down throw into the folder. He has Sweet Tea offstage again. Are we going to see the down air? He looks for the punish on the arc from the Vine Whip. Not going to fight, though. Chasing. The tech chase doesn't find anything but an F tilt. And now trying to punish the tech on the platform. Looking for the back air. Even a forward air. Just something to try and get that stock. Not going to find it. Up throw? No, a back throw for Esam. Hey, big S that's gonna get punished by forward air. I like the the pummels just to add on a little bit of extra damage. But what is the lead trap going to be from Esam? It gets, there isn't one. There isn't one, you're right. He was looking for the trap button and said he was playing Sweet T's game all along. Unfortunately, Sweet T's game did not involve getting up thrown by the Pikachu there. That's right. And now we see a back throw and I think, come on, Esam, more damage. And now Sweet Tea switching to the Squirtle, looking for the high recovery with the up beat. And I like that he immediately used Water Gun uh, out of the switch because we have seen Esam go off stage quite a bit. And you can punish the, the Pokemon switch if you do yeah. see it coming. So he just Jumping. used that Water Gun in case he was in position, just push him right back, give Sweet Tea some space. But we did see the throw kill coming out from Sweet Tea, evening up stocks. All right. T in a very dangerous spot though. Esam gets some big damage. He actually answers with an aggressive up air of his own, preventing him from getting edge guarded. Mm -hmm. Now he's just trying to space out Esam with these vines. All right, there's the forward smash. These thunder jolts are very scary for Sweet T. He gets the tech, gets the flare blitz, goes for the fly, gets another flare blitz in. He can't find a way back to the stage. Thunder. Uh, F Smash going to beat that Flare Blitz in the end. That's right. Wow. What what a, a few lead traps and edge guards coming out from Esam. He continued to just continue to rack up damage. He convert into taking a stock. He was in full control of that situation. Yeah, there, it really felt like Sweet Tea was dead 40% ago, but Esam just wasn't ending it. Okay, forward air. And, and he goes for the down air. But can he make it back? Goes. He can't make it back. He, oh, can't. he saved him. No, I think he would have made, made it with the back. I think he had I enough drift to make it back with the fly. Esam, though, doing his best to make sure not going to in the end, though. I don't know. It, it just just from the angle, it looked like just with how weak it was magnets very are, close. it was really close. Too hard to and tell. And there's the forward smash. Going to be out the withdrawal. And that's a game five win for Esam. Taking home.